Hey dolls, so in today's video I'll be reviewing the new Curls Cashmere and Caviar collection and I'm going to show you how to use the products to achieve this bomb flex your outside. So if you want to know more, keep watching. So I'm starting off with clean deep condition hair and y'all know I typically like to take you on the shower with me and give you a first impressions but Kylie Ann was just not letting me be great this day so I wasn't able to do a talk through so make sure you stick around until the end of the video so you can hear more about the products in detail but let's go ahead and get into this flexi rod set so the first thing I did was apply some of the moisture complex to my hair to moisturize it then I took my Curidu handheld hair steamer to stretch out my curl pattern now if you're unfamiliar with what a Curidu is it's a hair steamer that can hydrate detangle or stretch your hair just to kind of name a few of the benefits but if you guys would like me to do a more dedicated video on ways you can use a Curidu or how it can help your hair journey just let me know in the comments below so here you can see how I was able to stretch out my curl pattern almost like if I were to have used a blow dryer so I just repeated the process on the other half so that all of my hair was nice and stretched out now the reason I stretched out my hair is because this is going to significantly reduce the drying time since I'm not going to be using any water and it's also going to give my style more length and it will allow the curls to look a little smoother and cleaner as if I were to do this on straight hair so to set my hair, I only used the hair jelly and I applied a small amount of product to a medium sized section. Then I used the wrap and roll technique that I've shown in my previous flexi rod videos. So if you're new to my channel and you would like a more detailed how to on rolling flexi rods, make sure you check the videos in the description box below. To describe the motion that I'm using here, I'm simultaneously wrapping and rolling my hair around the flexi rod. So as you can see, when I bring the hair under and around the rod, I'm sort of twisting my wrist so that it points up towards the ceiling. Then I roll my wrist back towards the ground as I bring the hair back over the top so once i'm done wrapping the hair i bend the flexi rod at the root then i apply a small amount of product to the ends just to kind of glue them on the rod and then i just bend it and secure the ends in place but let's go ahead and show you again so you can get the motion down one more time Make sure you apply just enough product so that your hair is able to set properly. So you don't want to apply too much to where your hair completely starts to revert and curl back up. But you do want to apply enough so that it somewhat dampens if that makes any sense. Then just brush and smooth out the section and position the flexi rod at your roots. You always want to make sure the hair is nice and smooth, spaced evenly, and wrapped tightly around the rod to achieve the perfect curl. You do not want to have the hair laying completely flat and touching along the rod as this will result in a Shirley Temple curl. Wrap and roll the hair and if it helps, remember your wrist should be in the position of reading a watch when you go over and around and point it up towards the ceiling when you bring the hair under the rod, then just bend the rod on both ends to secure it in place. Should like a little something like this once you're done, then you can air dry or sit under a hooded dryer. For this style, I used about 30 flexi rods and I sat under a hooded dryer on high heat for about an hour and 15 minutes. You always want to make sure your hair is completely dry before taking down the rods. So if you opt to air dry, please allow at least six hours for your hair to fully set properly if you're not starting on wet hair. After you've taken down all the rods, just separate each curl until you reach your desired look. So this is what my hair was looking like after I took down all the rods. I have beautiful bouncy curls with a lot of shine and definition. And to separate my curls, I just took some of the hair serum and y'all, I promise I had to double check the ingredients just to make sure I didn't have any water in it because the consistency of this just kind of feels like leave-in conditioner or the hair jelly when you first pour it out. And listen, the last thing you want to do is use a product containing water to separate your set or it will frizz right up. But after I rubbed it along my hands, I saw it was just oil, so I just kind of used it to finger curl my curls out I continued finger combing and fluffing my roots till I felt I had enough volume then I just used a little bit of edge control to lay my edges and that's pretty much how I achieve this hairstyle now if you want mega volume you can always just take a wide tooth comb and comb out the curls to get really really big hair or you can individually separate each curl carefully to get a more defined look if you're wondering how long this hair will last or what you need to do to maintain it, it just really all depends on how active your lifestyle is. If you're constantly working out and you're always sweating, honey, I hate to break it to you, but you're going to get about one day out this flexi rod set because you're just pretty much going to sweat it all out. And that's with any natural hairstyle. Now, you can always restyle it as the days go by. I can definitely do a week in my hair video for you guys if you guys would like me to because you guys know I'm pretty much always working out. But um, if you live a pretty chill lifestyle, all you need to do is just put your hair in a loose pineapple, which is pretty much a loose ponytail on top of your head throw your bonnet on and then just fluff and shake in the mornings or you know as the days go by if you see getting a little frizzy you just kind of have to set some of the flexi rods on top just to kind of clean it up a little bit if that makes any sense comment below and let me know if you would rock this out and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up to allow more people to find this video also follow me on instagram at naturally chill let's go ahead and get into these products 
So this is the new cashmere and caviar collection by Curl. So this collection is supposed to soften, hydrate, and strengthen your hair. And I purchased the entire collection for only $45 during their Black Friday sale. So it was just something about caviar that piqued my interest. You know, I promise I had my pinky up in the air the entire time I was washing my hair. I just felt fancy as hell washing my hair with some caviar. All right, I'm exaggerating, but you get my drift. You just kind of get a sense of luxury from the description of these products. All right, so first up, we have the hair bath, which is a shampoo. I'm loving the packaging on the entire collection. It just looks so simple yet chic now I don't know why but I just wasn't expecting the shampoo to be black for some reason but it is very hydrating did not dry my hair out at all and it did lather up good but you guys know I'm a little bit weird about the lather just don't feel like my hair is getting clean for some reason but it does smell great and it's definitely shampoo that I would stash and recommend now we have the hair mask which smells exactly like old-school jam to me if you've used that product before you know what I'm talking about it's not a bad scent but it's just what it reminded me of it does have a great consistency not too creamy not too light you guys I absolutely love this hair mask Listen, if you've been following me for a while, you know the Curls Blueberry Bliss Mask is one of my all-time favorite deep conditioners. If I had to choose between that one and this one, hands down would go for the Cashmere and Caviar one. It just left my hair feeling so moisturized and soft, so it's definitely worth every single penny in my opinion. The Moisture Complex, I'll be honest and say I didn't really care for. It just has a really watery and runny consistency, which really isn't my preference when it comes to moisturizers. Now, it does smell good and it will moisturize your hair, but for me personally, the consistency is just kind of what did it for me because it is a little sticky and just kind of somewhat feels like aloe vera gel. So it just kind of made my hair feel a little sticky too. For some reason, I was expecting the hair serum to just be straight oil since it is somewhat of an oil blend, but I mentioned earlier it does have a consistency similar to a leave-in or a hair jelly and maybe because it contains beeswax but once you rub it between your hands you'll see that it does get oily now this is a little thick so if you like really light oils you may not like this but it smells great and honestly you could just never really trash a good oil blend or a hair serum in my opinion because they just have so many benefits like adding sheen encouraging hair growth when used regularly and then of course sealing in moisture all right, so last we have the hair jelly, which I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting this to be a straight gel product, but does have more of a moisturizer consistency, kind of a mix between a hair lotion and a gel. I love how it smells, you guys, this stuff is so moisturizing. Definitely gonna be stashing this, and I will be trying this out for a wash and go. Now, I will warn you though, it is a very light product, and it does claim to have light holds, so if you're somebody who needs more holds, you may have to pair this with an actual gel. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Comment below and let me know if you've tried any products from this collection, or if you're planning on getting some after watching this. Let me know what other products you guys would like me to review and like always thank you guys for watching